With the send email step, K2 provides you with the ability to customize your messages using static text, as well as dynamic values that come from various data sources through the context browser. To show you this capability, I have dropped a send email step on my workflow design canvas with the goal of customizing the subject line and body of the message with a combination of text and data fields showing some basic information about a customer order as it's being processed. I'll start with the subject line by entering some text here that states the order is being processed. That's all fine and good, but we also may want to add information about the order such as the name or type of order being processed. In this example, I can get to that through the context browser by opening it up from the context icon here in the upper right corner. Because this workflow is tied to a customer order list in my SharePoint site, I have direct access to the item reference of the order that kicks off the workflow. I'll grab the title field out of that reference and drag it over to the subject line. Then drop it in between the quotes just to add a little more information to this notification. Keep in mind, these fields are available to both the subject line and the body of the email message based on your needs. Moving down to the body of the message, you can edit the message in plain text with the default edit box that appears here. I'll start by dropping some text into this box to save some time. If you want to format this a bit more with rich text, you can open the rich text editor by clicking on the open text editor link at the bottom of the box. And in here, you can format the font, font size, add bullet point lists, and change alignment. I'll just make my field headers bold here, starting with order number, then description, quantity, and finally total. Next, let's pull in a value from a smart object method call. In this example, a customer makes a purchase and we want to put their name in the salutation of the letter. That name is not stored in my customer order record specifically, but I can pull the customer's name from the customer's list linked by the customer ID stored in the orders item reference by making a call to the customer smart object. I'll open the Smart Objects Context tab, then drill down into the SharePoint 2013 site category to locate my customer's list Smart Object. In this Smart Object reference, I'll open Get List Item by ID, grab the First Name field, and drag it over to the Salutation line. Next, because this is the Get List Item by ID Smart Object method that we're calling, K2 is going to prompt me for the ID input parameter that links to the customer record I want. I can get that from the customer order item reference on the fields context tab. From here, I'll drag the customer ID field over. Then we can close the smart field editor to go back to the email message body. Now, keep in mind, you can use values from any type of data source set up as a smart object in your messages, and you may be prompted for method input parameters when doing so. Be sure to have a reference to values that can be used as inputs for these method calls when designing your workflows. To finish this out, I'll format these lines and drop the order number into the message, which just happens to be the ID field in the item reference. I'll also pause the video here and do this quickly for description, quantity, and total. Okay, at this point my message is configured the way I want it. To make sure this saves, click on close the text editor over on the left side of the page here, or you can actually click on I'm done in the body box. After deploying the workflow, each time this message fires off, it will be sent out to a customer where they will then be able to view a high level summary of their order. Notice the customer name and the salutation along with the order summary.